Have a heart attack. There we go. Uh, I told y'all welcome back. How the game do? Ain't really no feeling. Um, I'm glad we got this week off. Not really off, but just time to really be with our families and lock in and be in the lab and see each other and know that it's go time. Two more days. Um, we ready. We've been attacking each other every day, like it's all, um, like it's training camp, and you know we've been polishing up a lot of things and adding a lot of things. So I think we lock and loaded. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you feel like this brought? What he brings? Man, it's consistency. You know, it's uh, it's shown on paper, in person. You can hear shit. You can see it whenever. I mean, when the dude plays, the way how he approach the game. Um, Mikhail is just a, a great student of the game. Um, there's so much words you can describe him with positivity, but Mikhail is just a good hard nose. Like he's a true NBA professional player. Like, you know, he approaches the right way and he's good to his teammates and he plays hard, you know, and we take care of his body so he can perform well and, you know, be there for his teammates. And, you know, it's contagious to all of us as well. You see it. Does this feel any different for you personally going into this playoff? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, man. You know, I feel like a villain who who who, who got the city on lock, you know. Um, you know, just working on our game, man. You know, being in the gym on off days and adding new things, watching film, seeing our teams guard and seeing how we can attack teams. It, it's fun, you know, and talking to your teammates, talking to seeing books, seeing them throughout the weekend. You know, seeing them more than I usually do when it's a long week like this before we play, it, it was, you know, it was a lot of confidence. You know, there was a lot of detailed information going on. So, yeah, it's a lot of confidence going into this thing. We've been here before. DJ, when you look back on the postseason last year, defending AD, defending Jokic, you had that incredible game four in the West Conference Finals defensively. Like, how do you look back on just the way that you performed going, in, going into this round? Um... You know, just doing all the same things, but better. You know, um, last year, I think um, it was just mainly me on the defensive end, but now I'm attacking teams. You know, um, it's not going to be me, you know, oh, I'm under the rim scoring. No, I want to go under the rim. I want to go score. I want to be at the line. You know, just second chance baskets, you know, just doing the stuff I did last year, but doing more and doing it better. How much do you think that short role is in the fact oh. that your game now compared to last year? Oh, it's a big factor. You know, um, I think that's what complements our offense. And, you know, um, when we have players like D-Book and C on the floor and they attract that much attention, um, you know, you don't have to be a playmaker in that in them short roles and, you know, get the offense going. You guys have dealt with injuries all year when a guy like Landry goes down. Is there kind of a familiarity with, okay, we've done this before, we can do it. Most def. Um, you know, Lamb going to be back. We're going to hold it down until we get here. But, you know, it don't matter who on the court, we still gonna play Suns basketball. Um, nothing changes. Defense still gonna be the same. Chemistry, moving the ball, competing, and you know, just playing defense. Period. Nothing changing. Um, we we, we hope that he get a quick and safe recovery, and you know, we just ready to battle. Is it weird not knowing your first second bonus? Me and personally, it don't matter. I I just, I just got I just got this fire, and I'm ready to let it blast, man. All right, we got some revenge, man. You know what I'm saying? I gotta redeem, we gotta redeem myself. So it, ain't, it, it don't matter who I who I play against. How often do you and Mikhail and Devin think about three years ago being from that six to three loss and now you're setting franchise records? Do you I mean, we definitely don't take anything for granted. Um, you know, we have our times where we we have those moments on the plane when we uh set a franchise record or you know, um break some type of accolade on my stone and we just take that time out and look back and you know just to see where we came from and sometimes book would laugh and like bro y'all got it y'all came here when it just started turning you know the table started turning but yeah book went through that a lot and you know just seeing how his whole career and you know legacy turning into his own hands and forming in one place is amazing oh yeah i'm the big dog off the leash you know what i'm saying i'm dominating you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the guys got to pull me down. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, hey, I'm going to run out there. I'm going to run out there so they got to hold me back in, uh, in the pregame because I tend to get too amped up before the games. You know, I be wanting to, you know what I mean? Got to calm it down a little bit.
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, don't. To tell you to use off on the Oklahoma deal. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, man, when I get all them con- all like contact, I'm ready to go out there for battle. You know, all that physicality and all them handshakes we do is just out there just to get us ready for the physicality we about to go through and, you know, making sure your brother ready. You know, he come at you with some soft contact. He ain't there. He ain't ready. So, yeah, he better be ready to get a hit every time. Every time. He's ready. He just said it. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't mind a little skinniness now. I got a little something. <laughs> Do you think you could have played football? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. No, 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 no. Them dudes get hit, man. I respect them dudes to the utmost highest. They, they, they better athletes than us, dude. They some superhumans. I, I couldn't do it. Take a hit and try to run from it? No. <laughs> no. I'm good. I shoot a jump book all day. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll be the kicker, dog. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing nothing else. Oh yes, we do. Especially when we're on the road, we got some villains now. The crowd don't like us for some reason, and they don't understand when y'all talk smack. We gonna smack your team. So. Yeah, that's just the motivation. It's us against the world, for real. Um, you know, people hate us when we're on the road, man. We like it. We love it. Um, a lot of people call us a fluke, and we hear the same noise we heard last year. And all it do is just amped us up and, you know, made us a whole when we are on the road let us play as a unit. So on the road, ain't nothing really phasing us. It's just us. And once I know my boys got my back, it's good. And they know I got theirs. It's like we at home playing. We just don't hear our fans. When it comes to the pregame routine, how much has that grown even this year? Um, it's just the feel of everybody's energy. I mean, there's a lot of personalities on this team. Um, sometimes y'all don't even know. It's really random. You know, I'm, somebody might not be feeling that handshake, and they just might do another handshake, and the person got to, you know, freestyle with them and make something that make it look cool. So, I mean, it's just off the energy, you know. You know, everybody's into it. I mean, we be sweating. Like, we really be sweating in the huddle pregame. Like, then we go out there and dance. There's a lot of energy if you really think about it. Like, I don't know. It's just it's just the feel for your teammates. It's that energy, man. We just keep adding new things. People changing up handshakes, making the handshakes longer than what it's supposed to be. All type of stuff. So you might just see two dogs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might see two of them things. I don't know. You guys have been taking uh, less, less, <coughs> less on the weight room training. Oh, yes. So you get more cardio. Most definitely. Cardio has been the main factor. Um, coach has been making us go up and down a little bit. We went up and down a little bit again today. So, you know, just locking in and making sure we're sharp. You know, our strength coach and our strength um, staff is make, being on top of us, making sure we're ready. So everything's locked in, man. When the last time y'all seen knees on the on the, uh, ice on my knees? Come on, Dwayne. Rookie year. Come on now. It's either I'm getting old or I'm working. Come on. All right. And that's working. I ain't getting old. I ain't getting old yet. You got a minute. I got a little minute, man. A little time. A little time. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see y'all in one.